The zinc is a better place. Do not clean your baby bottles directly in the zinc. Get yourself a clean bowl or if you have a dedicated bowl for your baby bottles, use that. For this cleaning process, you need just three things. That is white vinegar, boiled water and baking soda. You can use your discretion in measuring the water and also the vinegar as you can see what I'm doing here. I know the quantity of the bottles I'll be washing so I'm just using my discretion. And you can however use a measuring cup. Make sure you add the white vinegar and the boiled water first before adding the baking soda. I am using 3 spoons of baking soda and make sure you are adding your baking soda gradually to avoid the volcano eruption. After adding the baking soda, pour it and pieces the baby bottles in part because you'll be adding to the solution separately. So first I'll be adding the baby bottle nipples. As you can see that it is very stained. And I have another two I'll be adding and those ones are pretty clean. So take a note of the difference now because we will be checking these two after the whole solution thing. So I'm adding just two bottles because um, those two stained one I purposely kept it for the purpose of this video. So now I will cover this and let it sit for a while because I have other things to do. But um, if you really want this done quickly, you can let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and let it, you know, let the solution soak in properly before thorough cleaning. So I am back and um, I have to do the thorough cleaning now with soap but first I have to change the water and um, I know some people have separate baby soap that are used to clean the baby bottles but I have always been using the normal house dish washing soap and I've never had any problem because after every thorough wash with soap I usually sterilize my baby bottles so have been good with that uh, but if you do have a separate soap that you use for your baby bottles you can go ahead and use it so now i'm adding the bottles back and i'll be adding the water and also put in the dishwasher soap to scrub and scrub and also remove all baking soda residue from the bottles and the nipples After washing, I have to rinse every part thoroughly as well, running a warm temperature water from the top to clean it and uh, to make sure that everything is perfectly clean. So now let us see the four nipples that we put inside. If you look closely, this is pretty clean and uh, let me get the last one. is uh, the last one uh, let's see yeah that one so now looking closely at these four nipples I can tell you that the one on my right hand side is the one that were very stained as you can see they are not 100% clean and the one on the left are the ones that were previously clean but had extra cleaning again so the one on my right is the one that was very stained as you can see 
to get it to be properly clean, I need to do this more often. And you also need to do this solution cleaning more often. Let's say maybe two times in a month, depending on how busy you are or how you have so much of a time, you know. So you can do that cleaning um, two times or three times in a month, depending on how much time you have at your hand. Now, I'm done rinsing it, so I, I have to, to sterilize the butters just to make sure that everything is properly clean. So, if you don't have a sterilizer at home, you can use the microwave sterilizer or you use a dishwasher because I learned some people use their dishwashers to sterilize butters. So, you can use any form of sterilization that you have. So, thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We really love you and see you in our next video. Bye.